took a little bacon and it took a little beans and they caught the bloody British in a town in New Orleans. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Beardiful Beer Review channel. We are back for another review. If you will notice, the hat is facing forward today, so we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. This is my Burning Can 2017 hat, and today we are going to review a beer from one of my favorite breweries, and to be honest, I cannot believe I haven't reviewed it. I went back through my videos, and unless I missed it, I have never reviewed this beer. This would be Oscar Blues 1050, which, in my opinion, is probably one of the best nationwide uh, distributed Imperial Stouts. That's, that's big, right? That's a big claim. But you think about a beer that you can go grab off the shelf anywhere, this beer is a stellar example of an Imperial Stout. Clocking in at 10.5%, um, this thing is generally huge. Year after year after year, and fitty season is upon us. Um, I couldn't think of a better day to release that than today, which is the day of the release of the bourbon barrel aged 1050 and the Java 1050 for 2017. I've reviewed the bourbon barrel aged 1050 and the Java 1050 uh, with my buddy Clay um, here on this channel. I uh, will try to link to those if I can. Maybe I'll post them in the bottom. Um, it was actually a blind battle. Um, but I'd never reviewed the base stout and I thought, why not? Because here it is, fitty day. So here we go, into the glass. Oh, we'll see, this came in, I love a fresh can of Fitty. This stuff ages really well too. Uh, canned on 9-21-17, so we're a month and a half old. We built this Fitty on rock and roll. These guys changed the canning game for craft beer. I think they were the first to do it. I love this stuff. That proper glassware, proper hatware, let's do it. And it pours out like Fitty always does, Motorola. Um, what do you mean to say? There it is. Finger of mocha head. Tight, smooth looking bubbles. Almost nitro looking bubbles on this thing. Um, zero light. Nothing coming through on the edges, underneath the glass, around the glass. Not at all. Just pitch black. Let's get a nose on this thing. Sweet, roasted chocolate. Um, I know there's no coffee additions to this, but there is like that dark, dark roasted malt that almost comes across as coffee sometimes. A little bit of booze coming off of it. It smells like a charred milkshake, chocolate milkshake. That's kind of what it smells like to me. This thing's been sitting out of the fridge for a little while too, so it's nice and warmed up. This is my first uh, fitty of this fitty season, so I'm excited. I only picked up a single, and I have no idea why, because I saw it on the shelf, I think. So I just grabbed it, and I'll go back and buy a couple four-packs and sit on it and drink it all of the two weeks of winter we get here in Alabama. So, let's get a taste. Yeah. Big, chewy, full mouthfeel. Literally everything. My, my lips, insides of my cheek, my tongue, under my tongue. This, um, dark roasted malt, charred flavor that comes off this thing. Um, big time baker's chocolate, bitter dark chocolate. There's a bitterness on the finish of this that I absolutely love. Um, just lingering booze and, and burnt chocolate almost. Look at that nice little ring it left after that one sip. Such a cool little class they sell with their stouts and stuff. Yeah, there's enough booziness on this that you know what you're drinking. It's not offensive. Just so much, like almost marshmallow-like texture to this thing at times. A little bit of sweetness. A lot of dark chocolate. Like a lot of roasted malts. 
I just I still think this is the one of the best representations of this style that you can find consistently without having to spend a ton of money and trade for it all over the place. Um, if I wasn't so familiar with this beer, I would love to blind battle it against um, Surly Darkness. And I almost did, but I thought, I know this beer too well, it's not fair. So I didn't. Um, but yeah, 1050, Imperial Stout, Oscar Blues. If you haven't had it, pick it up. There's no reason not to. Go grab a single. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, share it around. And until next time, y'all, fitty. I hope you know what that means. And cheers.